I have a question regarding the investigation. Uh, you said in your statement that you put out in September that you characterized the NCAA's um, allegations as a false narrative and full of mischaracterizations. If, if that is indeed the case, then how would you characterize your relationship with former Adidas consultant T.J. Gasnola and the text messages and calls you had with him? Well, you know, the, the message that, that if you read the statement, which I obviously did, was, was one in which that I made the statement and then I also said that, that, that we cannot comment to any details of anything going on with the allegations due to the NCAA process. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow that, I'm going to stick to that, and, and, and certainly uh, the, the things that, that you just ask will be things that, that, that uh, uh, will be answered at the appropriate time when, whenever it can be answered, but certainly this is not the time for that. I know you don't comment on specific uh, allegations, but what, if any, concerns do you have about uh, the impact of this investigation on your job status and your tenure at Kansas? Uh, you know, I, I, Myron, I'm really not uh, concerned about that, uh, the job status you, you, you mentioned. Uh, uh, I know that our, our chancellor and our athletic director and department, the basketball program, are, are totally aligned in, in this. And, and there's been a lot of people say certain things, that, which everybody's entitled to opinion. And, and certainly you can't be angry or bitter because people are writing and commenting on this because it actually has been, you know, big news uh, uh, in the college basketball world. But uh, um, I just know that, that the things that have taken place uh, thus far have, you know, obviously nobody likes to deal with it, I, and, and certainly I haven't liked it. But it's also, in a, in a strange way, motivated me, uh, uh, probably in a way that maybe I never have been, to, to, uh, uh, to, to uh, combat this by, by taking care of our business on the basketball court and, and, and working with our players in a way maybe that exceeds any way I've ever done it. So. I, I do believe there, there could be a, a positive that, that comes out of that, and, and, and that's certainly one of them. Uh, but as far as my legacy or, or, or whatever, I, I, that, that doesn't even register with me. I, I know, I, I probably know me better than anybody else knows me, uh, uh, and I, I, uh, I know the people that I worked with over the years uh, 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 know me and, and, and everything, and so, I know that we have to go through this, and we'll get through this, uh, uh, and be very happy when it is behind us. But you know, my, my legacy is the least of my concerns right now. I just want to do the best job I can coaching that place that I absolutely love. Well, you know, recruiting's hard regardless. You know, when you when you when you're recruiting at elite level. You, you've got obstacles each and every year that may be a little bit different to try to recruit, and 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 uh, uh, it's 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 something that, that that we certainly explain out, and are very transparent with everything going on. There's not anybody that we recruit that we don't we don't tell them how it is, is at least the way that we know it to be, and so uh, I, I would say it's it's definitely had an impact. But I will also say this: I think we're we're in position to have one of our better early signing periods that we've had in a long time. And so uh, even though, you know, it's hard, it's never easy, I think we're going to come out of it okay.